Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact and Happy New Year! And today we are gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. We're getting back to Thomas Hangout events, as you might tell, because I have Thomas standing right there, and also the little quest menu thing says "Discuss Hospitality with Thomas." But first off, I hope everyone enjoyed the New Year's Eve and you had great holidays. I was on vacation, that's why there was a lack of videos, and. Also, if you remember last episode, we pulled Scaramouche and I pulled his weapon off screen, which I later on added at the end of the video. So, if you want to see that, make sure to check that one out, even though I just crappily filmed with my snapshot camera because I was already off screen. But also, I'm trying to make something for like, I don't know if I want to do it for like a new year thing, because I thought about changing my team again, because for like the second season of this Let's Play, which I started episode 200. I made like a little change to my gameplay and to my teams. Well, I mean, I originally wanted to catch up on content, which worked out pretty well in the very first episodes, because I was catching up on some story quests and monsters, which I haven't done, but I haven't really gotten to the rest of it because I still haven't done Shang Li's and Child Story Quest, which I'll be saving up, but they're coming soon. Don't worry. So. I'm gonna try to like maybe change some things for like when we're going to the third season of this let's play when we're reaching like episode 300 So um, I'm just gonna keep pulling on banners because I might want to try and get some more new characters No, I don't really know should I get should I pull for Ayato or should I pull for Raiden because they're both really cool characters I'm gonna start by making one wish on each banner. So I, I mean my pity just got reset I, I just, I don't know why I jumped, I just thought it was a 5 star, but it's clearly a 4 star, it's Rosaria. I'm gonna pull in both banners actually, because I have no idea who I would want rather. I mean, Raiden Shogun is just OP in general, which is pretty cool and pretty epic. But also Ayato, I mean this, these both banners feed into the same pity, so it doesn't really make any uh, difference. But Ayato's E is pretty cool, and I think still that he would fit really well in my team. I don't know what my new team is gonna be, but uh, you know, it's always nice to have a Hydro character because I hardly ever use Hydro since Child was a new character, so um, god, pulling is so boring these days when your pity is at zero, but also I literally just got a 5 star, why am I even complaining? I don't know, it's just in my nature. Also the shop got reset, so we uh, have new options to buy. Based on Star Glitter and Stardust, which I already did, that's why I had the pulls here. And we're. Oh, I have one here as well. And we're running out of pulls already. Well then! Time to talk to this guy right here, but not this one, but the real one. Hi there! I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. Okay, then what do we do? But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take you. <laughs> so, what do you usually prefer? Indoor or outdoor activities? Indoor. Oh, right. Sounds at least, like a plan. Uh, I don't sorry. really feel like spending my day running all over the place either. At least they're showing me the check marks now, so I know which route I've already taken and which I haven't. In which case, let's head to Komori Tea House. Oh, always nice, yes. There's nowhere better to sit and chat quietly with a pot of tea. I'll head over there right now and get a few things prepared. Come and join me when you're ready. I will join you right away. I am ready right away. Now I just need to find where Comrade Tea House is again. Also, New Year's resolutions. If you have made any New Year's resolutions, write them down in the comments. It would be pretty cool to read them. One of my New Year's resolutions was to fix my sleeping schedule, which means I'm trying to go to bed before 2 a.m., possibly before 1 a.m. Uh, which worked out so far, and I tried to wake up before 12 uh, in the morning, so I woke up at 7 today, because normally I just would have gone back to sleep, because I literally just woke up and I was like, oh, uh, what time is it? Because I've, I don't know why, but I thought it was like 2 a.m., but then it was 7 a.m., and I was like, okay, wait, if I'm already awake, then I could just, you know, move my ass out of the bed, and that's what I did, and now I'm here. Recording Genshin Impact at 10 a.m. Which is not 7 a.m. anymore, but it's still quite early, at least for my liking. So, time to have uh, breakfast with Toma. I even had breakfast today. Oh, uh, welcome. 
it must have been a while since you were last here. Oh, yeah, hell for sure. Uh, since it's about time to eat, I couldn't resist whipping up a little something for us. So, please, help yourself. I hope you enjoy it. And <laughs> I can't claim to compete with the likes of Uyu Restaurant Chef, but I think I did all right. Uh, what's wrong? You look shocked. After the hardbot game figured self sabotage was your cooking style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, there's been a misunderstanding. Please don't food poison me. I admit, I may have added a few weird things to that hot pot, but it was just a game. Because that was the exact same thing I was thinking about as well just now. For normal meals, I cook normal dishes. I am a housekeeper after all. True. <laughs> Wouldn't have gotten very far without a few culinary skills. I mean, I don't know, you could be like some survival extrema extremist who's like, oh, I'm cooking very poisonous and dangerous things uh, to prepare Ayato for the worst so he doesn't die on food poisoning if he gets food poisoning for breakfast every day by Toma. So I don't know. I mean, Ryo from Metrigo Crew also does this very weird cooking, but uh, well. Anyway, please dig in. I won't get the chance to cook for you like this every day. You promptly polish off everything on the table. <laughs> well, seems like my cooking has your seal of approval. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> you're welcome. When you're out adventuring on your own, you've got to maintain your quality of life. Take your cape, for example. I definitely see one or two loose threads there. If you ignore them, sooner or later the whole seam is going to come undone. And then you'll have a really tough time mending it. He's such a male well, let wife. Let me sew it up for you later. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with the needle and thread. Of course. Speaking of housekeeping, I can say with confidence that you won't find anyone as handy around the home as I am. Yeah, waifu. Cleaning, <laughs> cooking, and mending are among my greatest strengths. <laughs> you can always feel free to hand me jobs like this. Housekeeping, huh? Hmm? What is it? Nothing. You can run a housekeeping class, but yes, you could, this is how you could start winning more respect. Wait, <laughs> you're suggesting I teach housekeeping to the Yashiro Commission staff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it would work. I doubt anyone would sign up for that class. I just don't think it's realistic to change people's perception of me just by showcasing my housekeeping skills. <laughs> I'm surprised that whole matter is still troubling you, actually. <laughs> With that being said... Finding an opportunity to share some housekeeping wisdom with the Yashiro Commission would certainly be in people's best interests. <sighs> Life maintenance is important. You have to look after yourself if you're going to bring your best self to your work. You know what? Let's give it a try. But first, how do you think I should promote it? <laughs> Male wife, Toma, uh, <laughs> at your service. I uh, need to get out of there and spread the world. You think so? In that case, I need to prepare. If I'm going to end up with a lot of students, I should make sure I have all the supplies I need for the class. Tables and chairs I can sort out easily enough, but I'll need to stock up on materials and ingredients for the textiles and cookery segments. I can do that. Are you sure? <laughs> That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, let's see. To start with, I'll be needing lavender melon, fowl, and flour. Once we have what all for? our essentials, we can figure out the next steps. I really hope everything goes smoothly. Alright, I think I should have enough lavender melons and probably the rest as well, right? Please? Great! That's all the ingredients ha. we need. Time to hit the streets and launch our grand advertising campaign. As it happens, I know someone in town who runs a textiles business. Oh, right. I'm sure she must know lots of people interested in housekeeping. The pink haired lady. So, let's pay her a visit. Not Yai Miko, the NPC one. <laughs> Always gotta make sure that we're not talking about this one. Advertise the housekeeping course to the city merchants. Let me leave through the door As I'm sweeping the floor Well, I'm not, but that rhyme So that rhyme was a hot one Advertise the housekeeping course to the city merchants Where are the city merchants? They're at the textile shop, is that it? Is, is the textile shop here? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is Welcome to Ogre Textiles and Kimo- Oh, hi, Toma. What brings you here? Looking to buy some fabric? We have a new batch in. It's a great choice if you're looking to make loungewear. <laughs> it sounds interesting. I'll take a look. But the main reason I'm here today, though, is to pick your brain about something. Oh, and what might that be? Well, we're thinking of starting a housekeeping class. Problem is, I'm not sure where to go looking for students. 
So I was wondering if you might help me spread the word. Among other things, I'll be teaching some handy sewing techniques. So, providing everything goes smoothly, I'll be needing to buy quite a lot of fabric from your store. Do you think you'd be able to lend a hand? Of course, it'd be my pleasure. And thank you for supporting my business, Toma. As it happens, several of my regular customers do have an interest in housekeeping. After I've closed up for the day, I'll go and talk to them for you. I'm almost certain that they'll want to sign up. Yay! The only thing is... I'm not sure there's enough of them for a whole class. <gasps> ah, I know. Yuko is supposed to be very well connected in the community. Why don't you go and ask her? Yuko? Hmm. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. Same, but not in Genshin, so I think. So, she has an interest in housekeeping? If I remember correctly, she mentioned in conversation once that she's tried knitting a sweater a few times, but just can't get the hang of it. With your housekeeping expertise, I'm sure you'd be able to get her interested. Great. Thanks for all your help, Miss Ogura. All right. Let's go try our luck with Yuko. Let's go. Try our luck with Yuko. Uh, where is she? Okay, not too far away. Not too far away, at least. Hi there. Honestly, my husband doesn't lift a finger around the house. The moment he's home on his day off, it's shoes off and straight to bed so he can just lie there doing nothing. Ugh, I have one of those at home as well. I know his work is tiring, but recently I've been really struggling with all the housework. It's starting to give me a backache. <laughs> you always come. Like it's our job, just because we do it. But nobody trained us either. <laughs> You come at home and your husband is laying his shoes off and lying on the bed? Well, here's how to change everything in his life. Try Homer Stay at Home House Male Wife Services now for free. Uh, hello, ladies. Might I ask which one of you is Yuko? Does it matter they're talking about the same thing? Well, that would be me. Sorry, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I'm Toma, the housekeeper for the Ashiro Commission. They're like simping like, oh, I want a, I want a husband like this. He, he can cook, he can clean. We're looking to start a housekeeping class at the commission headquarters. I was just wondering whether that might be something that interests you. Housekeeping? As a class? That's right, yes. We'll be teaching a whole bunch of handy housework tips and tricks. Sweeping, mopping, laundry, cookery, you know, that sort of thing. All based on my years of experience as a housekeeper. The class is free, of course. The only cost to you is the materials used during the class. Hmm, what do you think? I think this is suspiciously coincidental. <laughs> well, I'll be straight with you, ladies. I believe the classes are free for a limited time only. <laughs> That's right, Traveler? right. So far, attendance has been a little on the slow side, so we decided to start offering free trial classes. In other words, we won't charge you for the first few classes you attend. After the trial period comes to an end, and if you're still satisfied with the results, you can book more classes for yourself and complete the rest of the course. I'll be sure to give you a favorable price. I see. It certainly sounds reasonable. But I have a question. Is this class restricted to women only? Nope. Oh, not at all. It's open to people of all genders and ages. The way I see it, housework comprises an essential set of skills that no one could afford to be without. You've got to know how to look after yourself. Life should come before work, don't you think? Well said. In that case, I'll bring my husband along. Sounds like he could learn a thing or two from you. Me too. Oh, and while you're at it, have you thought about asking Nagano? I'm sure older folks like him would have time to attend. The more the merrier, right? Who's that? Thank you, Toma. Uh, please excuse us. All right. I'll see if I can convince the older folks to come along and make up the numbers. <laughs> Yay! The numbers are growing. Is that the old man we're talking about? Oh, that's an old lady. Well, I mean, she can join as well if she wants to. As he said, no restrictions in gender or age or anything else. This is the guy. He doesn't look that old. He can still stand straight, so... Housekeeping class, eh? I was handy around the home back in the day. Sadly, the older I get, the fewer things I'm able to do myself. You're very young. 
Are you quite sure you're up to the task of teaching housekeeping? It's not as easy as you might think. Don't underestimate him. He, he knows what to do. I will do my very best. As housekeeper for the Kamisato clan, I've been honing my craft for a long time now. I believe I'm up to the task. Very good, young man. Well then, I shall have to come and see for myself. If you are as good as you claim to be, I will encourage everyone I know to attend your classes. And if I find your skills to be lacking, I will be quite happy to teach a few things myself. What can I say? We'll be honored to have you in attendance, sir. <sighs> well then, that will probably just about do it as far as promotion is concerned. Let's head back to the Yashiro Commission. Let's go. We're trying to do Yashiro Commission to make final preparations. Hell yeah! This is happening real fast, getting real fast, real, real quick. That sentence is not making sense, but uh, you know what? Sometimes things don't need to make sense. To make sense. You know? Yeah, let's find shelter, quick! Watering works on plants, but not. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, with this being my first time holding a class, I've got no idea how many people to expect. Uh, talking about Sayu and her idol lions, when I woke up and I started Genshin at like 9am and I was like doing uh, dailies and like uh, stuff for the Frostbearing Tree, which I only unlocked recently, because I didn't know that, that was a thing. You know, like when you reach level 8, you can get like weekly commissions on there but never mind <laughs> i woke up and i was like having sayu out as my character and she was like oh i should go back to bed i was like i'm trying to change my life i'm trying to get up early for once and this is what i get thanks for not believing in me sayu i just hope it goes well <sighs> anyway tonight i'll set up the tables and chairs then tomorrow we can meet back at the yashiro commission headquarters so what do you think the turnout will be like? <laughs> Not super upset. I'm sure lots of people will come. Why should I let him down? Come on. I sure hope so. We promoted it pretty hard after all. This is the weirdest feeling. Housekeeping has always been something I do alone. But now I'm about to face a class full of students. <laughs> You'd better show up to class tomorrow. I will. <sighs> wait until the following day. Seriously, I gotta wait until the following day in a stupid hangout event? Okay, well, I guess I'll have to do it then. It's the time to go to the Yashiro Commission to take part in the housekeeping course. It's the perfect weather to stand outside, isn't it? <laughs> Only four people. Welcome, one and all. This is my first time teaching a housekeeping class, just as I'm sure it's your first time attending. Oh, they didn't bring their husbands. I'd like to start from the theory, if I may, and talk a little bit about why mastering the discipline of housekeeping is such an important thing. Quick, come in. Toma started the class already. <laughs> Everyone looks keen to learn. Well, of course. No one's ever held a class like this in the past. I saved you a place. Please take a seat. The way I see it, housekeeping is a unique skill set that empowers you to set your life in order. Nowhere are these skills more pertinent than in the context of a marital relationship. In a marriage, the lives of two people become closely intertwined. If you can't look after yourself properly, that burden ends up being shouldered by your partner. This, in turn, will start to take a toll upon the relationship with... Um... Huh? What are you doing here? Hmm? Oh, the people who bullied him. What the? Huh? I brought him. Didn't you say men can study housekeeping too? <laughs> That's her husband. Wipe that look off your face. Aren't you going to greet the teacher? Oh my god. Because <laughs> if you remember, we didn't see the beginning of this uh, hangout event in there because I started like somewhere in the middle of the tree, but uh, those were the people that bullied him. No, For being it's... a housekeeper. <laughs> I... Darling. Hello, teacher. <sighs> For the love of... Hello, teacher. <laughs> well, hello, and welcome. Now that you're here, I expect you to pay attention and work hard. Well, let's keep going. Housekeeping is not difficult, per se. The difficult part is consistency, keeping on top of it over a long stretch of time. To keep up with housework on an ongoing basis, you either have to love everything about it, or you need a few tricks up your sleeve to make things easier. So, for today's topic, we're going to focus on 
how to make light work of housework. The dialogue options here make me think like something bad is gonna happen in a second, but so far... Um, excuse me, you over there, focus, please. I like to see active engagement <laughs> in my lessons. Sorry. That is, unless some of you are looking to stay behind after class to catch up. He found his new calling, he should be a teacher and said, <laughs> Oh, That's cute. Active engagement, that's what you like to see, that's sure, surely what we like to see. So there's gotta be a bad ending to this, right? Course summary. Housework requires patience, passion, and method. Well, that, that, that's not really much text, but uh... Did we do it? Is that... Yeah, right, I just got the picture. I... <laughs> Noel, Noel, Noel. <laughs> well, I do think Noel must have been the first character to get a hangout then. Uh, weird glitch every time we go in there. Anyways, time for the next round. Uh, okay, then. Thanks for your hospitality. We're gonna go back there. Look for Toma at Komori Tea House. Now we have to pick the other option when we're eating, I think. Also, I have the guide on my phone. I got a little bit sidetracked. No, I didn't get sidetracked. I chose different options and it was saying in the guide, but I still got the ending uh, that I originally wanted to go for. But like, as I proceeded playing, I was just like, not paying attention to the guide at all. So now I'm just gonna see that we're getting something different now. Where is the one that I'm looking for? Is there... Wait a second, let me check the tree again. Is there even another one here? Um, come here. Yeah, thanks for your hospitality. Start spreading the news. What's the other one then? What is the other one? Come here. Oh, uh, welcome. It must have been a while since you were last here. Uh, I'm just so skipping progress <laughs> because we just <laughs> What's saw wrong? all of it. You, whoa, I admit, I hey for normal meal. Anyway. Anyway, any slave? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> nom 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 well, Thanks for your hospitality. Like cooking, you're welcome. When you're out adventuring on your own, you've got to maintain your quality of life. Take your cape, for example. I, if Thank you ignore you. them, let me sew it up for you. Speaking of house cleaning, cooking, and mending are among my greatest strengths. <laughs> you can always okay. feel free to hand me jobs like this. Uh, this hmm. one. What is it? Then... Uh, this is how you can start winning more respect. Okay. Wait. Uh, Same choices again, apparently. That being uh, life main. You know what? And then, let's keep it within the Yashiro Commission. Okay. All right then. Here we go. If we're only opening this up to the Yashiro Commission staff, it shouldn't take too much preparation. Tables and chairs I can sort out easily enough, but we'll need to think some more about how exactly to promote this. Let's start by asking around at the Yashiro Commission headquarters. All right then, let's go to the Yashiro Commission headquarters again, where we just been to like five seconds ago. But I will get private gems after completing this, so I can make another pull. At least that's something. Uh, where exactly? Where this guy? Okay. You tell Hiro now about the housekeeping class. Housekeeping, you say? You know. Since it's Toma teaching, I'd definitely be up for going. Unfortunately, I have quite a lot going on over the next couple of days. But could I swing by once my schedule's freed up? I'd definitely like to give it a try. Oh, no problem at all. You can join whenever you like. Thanks, Toma. Also, this isn't really my place, but if you're starting a housekeeping class, haven't you thought about asking for Ruta? As the Kamisato clan's butler, I'm sure she'd know a lot about housekeeping. Sounds like someone we should speak to. Sure. Let's go pay her a visit. Already saw uh, her. Let's hope this goes smoothly. <laughs> oh no. What kind of experience does he have of her? Uh, there she is. Hello there. Ah, Toma. And the guest. This is a rare combination. I mean, she, sa she seems nice. Has something happened? Oh, not at all. We were just thinking of starting a housekeeping class. 
A housekeeping class? How wonderful! Do you know, I've always wanted to have Koharu learn from you. Oh, finally the time has come. I'm guessing you intend to open the class up to the whole Yashiro Commission? Not just housekeeping staff and servants, right? I think so, yeah. In which case, why don't you do a big spring clean of the commission oh. itself? It would be a great way to showcase your methods. Seeing is believing, after all. You could spend a long time trying to convince them with words alone, or you could let them see you in action with their own eyes. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I like Furuta's suggestion, <laughs> and it's not like we have a better idea anyway. In which case, heck, why not? Let's showcase the appeal of housekeeping for all in the Yashiro Commission to see. Oh, I meant, I meant like clean out the commission that she wants me to fire staff. Oh my god! Let's get started. Is that not what we're doing? The big cleanup attracts onlookers. Complete the housekeeping challenge. Thirty seconds. Where'd this rain come from? Are you gonna be okay? Oh, uh, here, I'll lend you my coat. And the flowers will really flourish now that the weeds are gone. <laughs> I'll lend you my coat and the flowers will... <laughs> oh, man. Um, help. What else is there? What else is there? Am I missing something? You don't something? want to be out in open country in here. this kind of weather. While we're here, though, we should water the trees. It's raining. It's raining. What do you want from me? I don't have hydro on my team. Oh. Oh, uh, help. That looks so weird. Uh. Uh. Help. Another one. Another one. Quick. Quick. Oh. Uh, let's try that again. This is like Animal Crossing, except it's super stressful. Ah, has something uh, else. Yeah. Sure, which give me the whole dialogue. Again. I like Furuta's suggestion, and it, in which case, let's get started. Okay, now I know how it works. Now I know we're not firing people, so that's something at least, I guess. Maybe we just should have been firing people. And flowers will really flourish now that the weeds are gone. Look at the weather. Don't we have like? Better things to do. <laughs> Where's the last one? Where's the last one? I have time running around. I'm out of stamina. Oh, here. While we're here, though, we should water the trees. No, I'm not so lost. At least because I know what to do. Hello. Thank you. That's the last thing. Please, right? Tell me, right? Right, okay. <sighs> Stressful. <sighs> the whole Yashiro commission looks as good as new. We had a lot of spectators, huh? <laughs> I wonder if we managed to get any of them interested. Either way, thanks for your help. I usually handle all of this stuff on my own, but having you join me today was a pretty great experience. It's nothing. Well, here's hoping. I'll set out some tables and chairs tonight. I've got no idea how many people will show up tomorrow. <sighs> Make sure you get some good rest tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty. Oh, achievements. And I'm gonna time travel again. And we're back. Go to the Yashiro Commission. To, to no one's here. Literally no one. It could be because of the weather. It's because of the weather. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. It's only me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too upset. This is normal. With things like this, you can't expect to change people's views overnight. It takes time and effort. Well then, it looks like I'm all yours for this class. I mentioned earlier about sewing up your clothes for you, didn't I? Yay. I also want to take this opportunity to teach you how to knit a sweater. That way, you'll be able to make yourself some warm clothes before the winter comes. Didn't manage to get you the respect you served. <laughs> the fact that you're so ready to look out for me has already made me very happy. But... Really, it doesn't bother me at all. Once in a while, someone takes issue with my background, interests, or the nature of my work. And that's okay. You can't expect everyone in life to see things the way you do. People are always going to talk. It's in their nature. 
and you can't do much to stop them. I don't mind what they say about me. What I care about is the well-being of the Kamisato clan. But that's enough about all that. <laughs> Come on, grab your needle and let's get knitting. Let's start with the classic stockinette stitch. First, wrap the yarn around, pull it through here, then hang it on the needle. Put your thumb on the yarn here, index finger here, and pull it tight. <laughs> like this? You learn pretty quick, but you need to pay close attention to this. Exactly, just like that. Now, set yourself a small goal to start with. For example, knit a scarf by the time winter arrives. Scarves are always a great choice. When it's finished, you can either wear it yourself or gift it to a friend. <laughs> Just imagining it warms my heart. Aww. Awesome. <laughs> Ifer looks so troubled, help. Knitting a sweater is harder than imagined. Well then, off to the next one. La 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 la. I'm getting primer gems. That's what we like to see, surely. Okay, so I'm going to the to this one, which means he just spawned again over there. Great. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take. So, I think now it's time to say we're gonna head out. You want to go out for a stroll? <laughs> Perfect. I have a couple of places I was going to recommend. If you like cats and dogs, there's a great place I can take <laughs> you. I go there pretty much every time I have a day off. You can't help but be in a good mood when you're surrounded by cute animals. Feeling that, we could go downtown if you'd prefer. Narukami Island will be packed right now, so we could go to Rito instead. Oh, we haven't been there in so long. That was the place where we first met him. <laughs> <laughs> Back to where we first met. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time, actually. Neither have I. Which one are you feeling? It's up to you. I know we're all saying cats and dogs, but we already did that, so let's hit the town. <laughs> okay, let's go straight there. I know Rito pretty well, so I'll give you the grand tour. Today's a rare day off, so above all, let's enjoy ourselves. Hell yeah. Going back to Rito, going back to Rito. Ah, remember when... This always reminds me when Inazuma came out and everyone was so excited because it was the first real region that was, like, released because, like, Monster and Leo have been base game... Base game. You know, like, uh, <laughs> beginning of the game content, so... <laughs> Here we are, back in Rito. <sighs> I haven't been to Rito in a long time, but it feels like the place hasn't changed at all. Then again, a long time for humans is a blink of an eye for the natural environment. Makes me wonder, what is Mondstadt like these days? Wait, you've been to Mondstadt? I mean, we now know that he, uh, like, used to live in Mondstadt, but I actually myself didn't know because they have, like, hardly mentioned it in the game because I haven't played this before, so... Yeah, uh, I actually grew up there. Later, my father moved back to Inazuma, and then we never heard from him. I wanted to take him some dandelion wine, so I took the boat here from Mondstadt. Unfortunately, we hit a huge storm on the way, which sank the boat. I fell unconscious, but was somehow lucky enough to float the rest of the way to Inazuma, on debris from the wreckage. Would be cool to actually see him, like... Interact with monster characters if you would like show up at the Ludi Harpastum or something. Oh, uh, I'll spare you the rest for now. <laughs> um, let me take you around. This is a branch of the Chuyu Trading Company based in Liyue. They sell ore from that region. I'm guessing you would have seen shops that look like this over there. I actually, do want to leave our little. <laughs> yes, I have. Ah, hello there. What brings the two of you all the way out to Rito today? I don't know. Since you're here. You should pick out a special something. We've got some fantastic pieces in at the moment. Like this Noctilucus Jade necklace. Or this Core Lapis bracelet. They may not be top tier in terms of ore quality, but the craftsmanship is simply exquisite. Do either of them pique your interest? Mm, quite like the necklace, but maybe the bracelet would suit me better. <laughs> hmm, I think both suit you very nicely. Ah, to heck with it. How often do we get to do this? We'll take them both. Yay, I found a sugar daddy. <laughs> but you've got to be fair to us with the price, ma'am. My friend here is actually from Leo. Um, actually not, but if that's what you want to say, then yes, I am. 
Oh, really? Well, say no more, Toma. I wouldn't dream of overcharging. How does this figure look to you? Can we go lower? It looks very reasonable. Deal. Now then, let me take you somewhere else. Wow, this is like going out with Shang Li, Back but in day, he had extra money. Retail always used to remind me of Mondstadt. Why? Freedom of trade, freedom of culture, and freedom of lifestyle. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Why are they talking about Kusanali? I'm uh, in Azuma, This but... is the Sailing Breeze, a purveyor of Mondstadt wines. As it turned out, one of the first things that greeted me here when I arrived wasn't my father, but wine from my hometown. <laughs> it must be said, though, the wines here aren't quite up to the Don Winery standard. Back when my father was still in Mondstadt, he used to talk fondly of the Angel Share. Of course, I was still a kid back then, <laughs> so I never did get to join him for a drink. It's so cute though that how he knows everything about Mondstadt. Mondstadt feels like home to you as a player when that's the first city you arrive to. Or at least that's what it feels like for me. So now it's like talking to, an, to a friend who also grew up in the same town as you. And now that I'm actually old enough, the opportunity is gone. You can come t to Monster with me anytime, dude. I I'm I'm gonna treat you for a drink. You have to drink one day. Uh, I hope so. You've been to Mondstadt, right? I assume you've been to the Angel Share? Oh my god, you would love the cat's tail now that we actually can go inside there. I hear the owner's quite a formidable businessman. Given the chance, I'd love to meet him. When that day comes, we should also grab a drink. Uh, wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Maybe when you're older. Excuse me, I'm older than you. Traveler is such a I boomer. I heard the Shogun recently abolished the Sakoku Decree. And trade and commerce is already starting to recover. I'm sure it won't be long before Rita retrieves the prosperity of its past. This is also thanks to your hard work. Thanks to you, our nation can finally prosper. Hi, Toma. Out shopping with your friend? Can I get you anything today? Oh, well, why not? <laughs> I'll take that toy fox. Hold my hand, Papa. I'm scared. Papa, hold the my hand. The Sakoku Decree might have been abolished, oh. but the International Trade Association is still going strong. I literally feel like a child. After all, there are still plenty of situations where they're... Oh, no! Why did I cut him off? Ah, uh, here we are. Bet this takes you back, huh? Oh, right. I wonder what Carissa's doing. I don't remember anything, but we spent quite an eventful time here, yeah? <laughs> we sure did. Katsuie from the Kanjo Commission was persecuting those poor merchants. Well, until you stepped in, of course. A lot of people in Rito are still very grateful to you for that. They ask me about you sometimes. Oh, really? If you're interested, I could set up a meal for all of us if you'd like. Excuse me, Toma? It is you! What a coincidence! I was just about to send someone to deliver a gift to you! I don't believe we've met. And if there's a gift involved here, I'm not sure I've earned it. Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> no, no. You don't know me, but I've heard of you before. I ran into some trouble a while back, asked Kurisu for some help, and he said you were the one that resolved the situation. If you're on the receiving end of someone's kindness, you can't let it go unacknowledged. So, I tried to pick out something that I thought you might like. Something you thought I might like? That's right! So here it is. Some confectionery from Yume no Tenenan, a fine purveyor of Inazuma delicacies. Each one costs a small fortune. I thought this would be the only fitting way to repay someone of your stature. Not to mention that the value of your assistance far outweighs the value of my gift. Do you like it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you managed to cater to my taste perfectly. <laughs> I humbly accept your gift. Keep up the good work in your line of business, and if you have any further problems, feel free to come find me. I will. Thanks again, Toma. I'll leave you in peace now. Have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Pretty high energy guy, huh? You want to try? This store is indeed renowned in Inazuma. In fact, demand is so high that it's very difficult to come by their products. They're all handmade by top chefs, and the flavor is as authentic as it gets. <laughs> Your cooking is tastes pretty good. Great! I'm glad you like it. I'll see about trying to make my own recipe when I get the chance. They're made from a traditional family recipe, though, so replicating them won't be easy. Okay, that about wraps up our nostalgia trip to the International Trade Association. I think we've seen just about everything there is to see in the city. Let's keep heading this way. We don't get to hang out all that often. It'd be a shame to head back so soon. Yay.
I enjoy this. I think this is my favorite route so far. With the change of seasons, retail gives me a different feeling each time I come. Hmm. Maybe it's not entirely to do with the seasons. Anyway, the main point is, I'm happy to be here with, with you this time. <sighs> I come to this place every time I visit retail. The view here isn't as spectacular as on Narukami Island, but if you're looking for a relaxing spot, you can't beat this one. The stairs? And I'm sure it'll be bustling with life again soon enough now that the Sakoku Decree's been abolished. <sighs> Once I'm on top of things, I think I'll have to ask my lady for a long vacation so I can take a trip back home. I don't see that happening anytime soon, though. <laughs> I have a long list of things to get through. <laughs> All right, time to call it a day. Let's head back. Hold up. Hmm? Not ready to leave yet? Uh, come to think of it, I do have a couple more places I could take I you. I have a gift for you, too. <laughs> oh, there's no need for that. Yes, it is. The whole reason I took you out was to thank you for all the help you gave us during the Vision Hunt Decree. As long as you enjoyed yourself, that's all I could ask for. You don't have to give me a gift. But I already got it, so who am I supposed to give it to if not you, huh? And I think you'll like it. Really? Okay, well, now I'm excited. <laughs> oh, my. It's... <gasps> a little something from Monster. Oh, I'm gonna cry, that's so cute. <sighs> this really... Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I wanna hug him. I'm a little lost for words. This gift is... invaluable. Didn't cost anything. Oh, I know, but I don't mean its material value. I'm talking about its value to me specifically. Um, let me put it this way. The confectionery I received from that merchant earlier, thoughtful gift, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I know it's mostly transactional. Well, mine was personal, so... <laughs> I mean, I could just give you a Deutsche Bahn ticket so you can go to Germany, so Monstead, I guess. I helped him out, so it's standard procedure for him to get a gift from me in return. Also, he picked a brand of fancy confectionery that he thought would meet me at my level, and make it easier for him to approach me with any future requests. Like, do they have Deutsche Bahn in Tavert? Do you actually go to Monstead by using Deutsche Bahn? Because that train is never on time. If you lend Mora to someone, you can guarantee that any gift you receive in return will have been chosen according to its material value. But the gift you just gave me can't be weighed in the same terms. I don't want anything in return. I'm just glad you like it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, at least take this in return. It's an omamori I always carry with me. Again, nothing expensive. But it can bring the bearer good luck. Seriously, I'm not making that up. My father told me. Now I'm thinking about Tokyo Revengers. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm not ready for season 2 of that anime. It's gonna destroy me and kill me dead. He gave it to my mom, and she gave it to me just before I came to Inazuma. Why are you giving it to me? You're supposed to keep that. No, I can't take that. That's too personal. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this Omomori was the only reason I survived the storm and made it to Inazuma in the first place. Toma. Whatever the truth of it is, I'd like you to have it. Why me? I just got you a random windwheel ass surfing that doesn't have any personal ties to me, and you give me something your mother gave you. Come, on. that's like that's like giving me the the ring your parents used for proposing. Do you want to marry me? <laughs> I have it in my inventory. Oh my god. Hopefully this literally looks like we're married. <laughs> this Omamori can bring you more good luck. Oh my god. That's so cute. What? How am I supposed to move on? Yeah, that was definitely my favorite uh, route of this hangout event so far. I know the one with the dog was pretty sad, but I can't remember that at all. Um, Hungry. Okay, that's the one we have to do next, which is also going to the cats and dogs route. And uh, yeah, we have to teleport because I think it's in in Azuma City. Uh, let me scroll up to the guide so I don't accidentally play the same route we've had before. And let me scroll down to the guide so I can find the one. Um, 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 uh, oh, okay, I found it. Talk to Toma. Right, that was the one at the tree over there. Wait for me! I'm almost here! Uh. Here they are. 
Well, that didn't take long. Look at that. Best buds already. Some of the dogs are even showing their bellies. That's a sign that they really trust you. Uh, well, <laughs> you'll rarely see Tarumaru roll onto his back, though. He's a ninja dog, so he's always on guard in case an enemy approaches. Oh my god, I just remember the first time we met to No, not the first time, but the, uh, the second time or something we met Toma. We were like in the Komori tea house and we thought that Tarumaru was talking to us, but it was actually him hiding behind the counters or something. Speaking of ninja dogs, I actually saw one the other day on the beach north of Konda village. Why would there be ninja dogs in the wild? Uh, well, that's the thing. They rarely go off on their own. Usually, they stick with their human ninja partners. <laughs> Sayu? Does Sayu have one? After retiring, most ninja dogs are taken in by their partner, or sometimes someone else in the Yashiro Commission will take them in. It's extremely rare to find them on their own in the wild, so it makes me a little concerned. Why don't you adopt it? <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to bring it back to the Yashiro Commission, but it wouldn't let me. I tried establishing some trust by petting it on the head, but it gave me a nasty bite. <laughs> Still, I don't want to give up on it. Nobody really goes out that way, and I don't know what it would have to eat out there. Mm, perhaps you should give it some time to calm down? That's probably a good idea. It was in a very aggressive mood the last time I saw it. I'm worried it might bite you if we try to approach it, though. Let's wait until it's in need before going to its aid. That's probably safer. But back to our other animal friends. Now that the weather's getting colder, I'm wondering whether I should knit some sweaters for these strays. Oh my god, what? Problem is, most of them don't actually like being touched, so I can't take their measurements very easily. Uh, let's take a picture then. That's not a bad idea. We could take photos of them from different angles, then work out their measurements by using other objects in the picture as a reference. See? You're the real fixer here. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Hmm, that's so cute. Oh, I, I took the photo already? Oh no, I didn't. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, come on, <laughs> let's take some photos. <laughs> same, S same, literally, same. All right, I think I did it. Well, I think we've got enough photos now. I can't get over how cute they are. They're just adorable, aren't they? <laughs> they're a pain in the butt. Why would anyone ever say I'm tempted to do it because I want to hear his reaction, but... Wait, which one does the guide say I have to choose? <laughs> they're super cute. Why would I say that? I'll have to think carefully about what kind of sweaters to knit for each of them. I think if I would have pressed the other option, I would have, like, straight up lost the hangout event and would have to start over. The color should be complimentary. Hmm... Well, you know what? Let's buy some yarn from the next store we pass. You know, the first time I came here, there was just one stray dog on its own. I still remember the first time I fed it. It was a rainy day. The Kamisato clan had just introduced a series of new policies, but a few of the more stubborn clan elders were extremely resistant to the changes. I was holding my umbrella on my way to visit one such gentleman of senior status. The plan was to talk him into supporting the clan's decision. Sadly, he wasn't interested in having a conversation. He didn't even let me in. As soon as he saw me coming, he got his samurai to send me away. Some things even Toma can fix, huh? I mean, I fixed it in the end, of course. It's just that the first few visits didn't go so smoothly. He's literally the Genshin version of Mr. Clean. So, anyway, after they turned me away, the weather went from bad to worse. The wind was so strong it rendered my umbrella completely useless. Before long, I was drenched from head to toe. I must have looked like a real mess. I decided to take shelter under a tree and found a stray dog sitting there who had the same idea as me. It saw me and moved a little further in, like it was trying to make room for me. So we sat there together. I shared my onigiri with it, stone cold by this point, uh, but still edible. <laughs> and we ended up huddling together, waiting for the rain to stop. Is that the line that everyone reposted when this hangout came out? <laughs> I think so. As far as the big shots are concerned, I'm just an expendable servant boy. I always have to be mindful about what they might want, and what I can do for them in return. But when I'm with these little guys and gals, everything's so much simpler. One stone cold onigiri, and hey presto, <laughs> we're friends for life. Even when I show up empty handed, they still come to me. When it comes down to it, I think it's these simple and straightforward connections that I value the most. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ended up giving you the unabridged version. <laughs> Shall we come visit this place again some other time? As soon as you're done your knitting. Great. I'll see you soon. 
Yay! They were so cute. Wait until the following day. Once again, time traveling. Hello, it's me back again! Time to dress up the kitties. Ugh, so sleepy. I had some things I needed to do, so I ended up burning the midnight oil to get those sweaters knitted. I wonder if they'll actually suit them, though. Hmm. Let's start by testing them out on the friendlier ones. This one's for Petal. Oh, and uh, this one's for Darko. And this one's for Goldilocks. I love how we already gave names to everyone. You dressed as straight cats and dogs and sweaters with Tom. <laughs> Most of them look great. Right. Nice. Most of them. What do you mean most of them? Uh, with any luck, that should see them through the winter. Then, come the spring, a new year will begin. And they'll be free to roam the wilds once again. Uh, you know, if you take one day at a time and be kind to the world, good things will come your way eventually. That might sound a bit naive, but I really do believe it. At least, it seems to have worked for me, you know? <laughs> Give me... Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, oh, it looks like my cat. Oh my god. Tom on his sweaters for stray cats and dogs, but it seems that one doesn't quite fit. <laughs> Is it that one? That's super adorable, but they're gone. Anyways, are we getting something? Are we getting something? Yes, all endings reached for getting more primal gems. Great, we're, we're kind of not really getting anywhere, but... It, you know, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, also. I can make another wish on another banner. Should I make. I'm gonna wish. Well, I'm gonna wish for Ayato. And see. Pushing the pity. Pushing the pity. Just pushing the pity. Like, right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, like, who I'm pulling for. Or if I get some or not. It's like literally just pushing my pity. And if I get any of these characters, I wouldn't be too mad. Like, I wouldn't be. You know? Who's it gonna be? Sarah. Well, I don't use this character, is what I can say for sure. Another four star immediately. Oh, Sarah, I don't know. Yeah, they have the same characters on here. Oh, I can buy another wish. <sighs> Hold on, I will do so. Uh, here. I can buy as many. I thought it was also limited to only five. Huh. Okay, that's, uh, good to know. Always interesting. Another four star? What? I almost don't want to stop pulling. Oh, Sayu. Okay. I already have her. Okay. Oh, I can't pull again. Right. Okay. See you in the next episode of Cash Impact, guys. Until then, she said Bye bye. departing soon.